What is up everybody and welcome to another ECS season 8 team interview. I am here with one of our first qualified teams, it is Sharks and of course Lucan is joining me. So first of all, massive congratulations to you guys for qualifying for ECS finals for the first time ever. What was the team's reaction like when you managed to claim that spot? Uh, well, thank you uh, to, to that. Uh, I, I'm, I mean, it's like... Uh, I don't know. We we get so happy, you know. You, you we get the 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 objective. Then we lost the finals, but I mean, in that moment when we went to Cloud Nine, we we are really happy to to qualify, and that's the objective. And, and we need to train for that, to practice for that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, because you guys won in the first two weeks where it was the amount of money uh, that teams earned that made uh, made sure you were going through to the finals in Texas. Um, as we said, this is the first time you guys have tried to qualify for the ECS finals. Um, what was the team's strategy coming into this season? Yeah, I I don't know about that because... I I entered the team like two months ago, so it's my it's my first tournament uh, for ECS. Uh, but the strategy is play our game. We we made a few mistakes when when we play like seeing the the other team tactics, and we we only talk to play our game and play confident, and that's it. Yeah, because as you mentioned, um, yourself and Mayan, you're the two new additions um, from Argentina coming yeah. onto Sharks, which is super interesting considering that it's been a predominantly uh, Brazilian roster beforehand. What has it been like for yourself and Mayan coming onto this team? Uh, I mean, I'm playing with Mayan like for eight months in team or six months, I don't know how long. Uh, and having another Argentina on the team was really was really good for me. Uh, and I don't know, it, it's an amazing team and an amazing opportunity to play. And I'm really happy to be here. And I'm going to do everything I can. Yeah, exactly. Um, just speaking about you kind of moving onto Sharks a little bit more, how has your role changed from previous teams you've been in um, now coming on to playing on Sharks? Yeah, I mean, uh, back time in Argentina, I have a role like a star player, you know, uh, to, uh, I play many roles, so I never can focus on one. So now in Sharks, I, I'm playing like more support, uh, lurker, you know, and I'm really happy because I can focus in, in one role and be able to, to play the role all the time. It, it, it's good to, to, how do you say, to improve, to improve yeah, yeah. all the time on the role and, and, and it's better for, uh, for uh, be a regular player. Yeah, I mean, I spoke to Exit um, before you guys managed to qualify for the ECS Season 8 Finals. Um, and he kind of mentioned that you guys, you have this team house where you're practicing a lot. Can you talk to me a little bit about what kind of practice goes on there and what the uh, that practice facility brings to you guys? Uh, here in the name? Uh, like yes, the yeah, house. yeah, the American house, yes. Uh, uh, I mean, we do a, a boot camp in Portugal, like for 12 days, you know, and the the house bring you a lot of things uh, like, I don't know, you, you are seeing a, 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 de a demo and you, you need to tell someone of your teammates, uh, yeah, I don't know, you, you, you saw a grenade or something like that, you can show, show to them like in two seconds. Yeah, and it, it's it's always more fast in a in a house because you are always with with your teammates and you can talk about counter CS all the time. Yeah, and I mean it's really fast to to learn things. 
so I know I said I spoke to Exit uh, before your week two games um, and obviously they were very important for you guys to qualify for the finals and we saw you go up against Ints uh, in the quarterfinals in week two. Can you talk to me a little bit about how you prepared for that game um, coming up against another sort of South American team? I'm, I mean, it's always really hard to play against Brazil, Brazilian teams and... I'm now playing with Brazil and it's always like an emotional game. It's not land, but uh, I think uh, we only play our game. Uh, we are focus, focus, focusing in, in that, playing all the times so our game and adapting to the game. We know we knew in in set because we are, we are screaming a lot against them, so. We know they are strong, but we are really confident right now against the other teams in, in this region. Yeah, and I mean, in, in what I believe it was the second map that you guys played in that series was uh, Vertigo. And that's quite a strong map for you guys. Were you surprised that Int um, left that in the map pool? Yeah, I, I don't remember uh, what map they banned, but. Yeah, Vertigo is a really strong map uh, uh, for for us, but now with the change, uh, I, I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> the, the old Vertigo is it, so strong, one of the most strongest map we have on the pool. Well, yeah, it's super interesting to see more teams kind of picking it up and seeing where it develops. But um, I wanted to pick up on something you said about the sort of Brazilian scene. You said it's quite different playing with a Brazilian team. What are some of the main differences um, that you can see coming from outside into a Brazilian team like Sharks? Um, I mean, I play with Argentina all my, all my life, so I don't have too much to compare. But yeah, uh, I mean, I, the Brazilians are more more hyped. Uh, every round and they they know uh, so much about the game uh, and they, they have a, a, another play style for sure they 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 love to be aggressive players and but if you 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 get the that, that little quote of flow game of tactic game uh, they they are so good uh, so I, I'm learning a, a lot with them. But, but yeah, all the time uh, you play Brazilian team versus Brazilian team is uh, another game. Uh, it's not uh, like playing with an NA team because it's so competitive, like the, the Brazilian region. Speaking of NA teams, um, the only team that was a real threat to you and your qualification for the finals was Cloud9 and you had to face them again in week two. How did you kind of mentally prepare to go up against them again, considering there was so much on the line? Uh, yeah, we we really don't talk about, about that. We only uh, go focus to the match and we play against Liquid, we win them. Uh, we are doing well on the screams. Uh, we are having good results. So we know that that match we can, we can win it. Uh, won it, uh, we did, uh, so uh, it, that's it, we we entered uh, knowing that we can win after that, that first map, I think they destroy us, but we we entered to the, to the second map like losing 5-0 and we know that we can win and it's always uh, stay focused on, on the game. Yeah, and I mean, that definitely paid off for you because you managed to take them down and then you went into that uh, the grand final against ATK, which unfortunately you didn't win, but you'd already qualified for the finals uh, by this yeah. point. Um, was there still a part of you that wanted to take down ATK in the finals, even though you'd already qualified? Yeah, I think we, we, we entered to the match like, like knowing that we we do the, the objective we we complete the objective but it was a, a not a good not I don't know how to say it but don't, don't a, a good loss but that loss yeah. uh, uh, it's important to 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 our team but because we know now that we have to we have to have the the right mentality every game 
enter with the, with the same mentality, with the same focus, and um, play our best always. Yeah, for sure. Um, and coming on to your first ever ECS uh, LAN finals in Texas, which is going to be super exciting. Um, what is the team doing to prepare for that? Uh, we came back like two days ago for, from Los Angeles, from the EPL, and now we are we are resting a little bit. Uh, tomorrow we 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 going uh, we start the game with with the screams. So we are doing the same routine, like two hours of tactics, six hours playing maps, uh, and we can, we need to add more tactics, more 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 playbook in our match, our pool. Because now all the teams know what what we are playing in every map, because we, we don't have too much preparation for for ECS or or, or IPL, so we are we are screaming a lot right now. So currently, as we speak, we only know four out of the eight teams that have qualified, and obviously, uh, Evil Geniuses were another team from the North American qualifier to uh, be able to go to Texas this season. Is there? Any other teams you're particularly hoping you'll get to face uh, in Texas? Yeah, I want to face Liquid. Yes. Also, uh, the other two teams are Avanga and Nip. Uh, yes, Avanga and NIP. Yeah. Yeah, from my name, I want to to face Liquid again, but in land in land. Yeah. Because I think they are so better on uh, on land. Uh, they are so good on land and we need to prove ourselves there against Evil Genius. Like, they are also uh, one of the strongest team of the world. Uh, we we get so hard play against them, so I want to face them too. And I mean, the other team, I really don't care too much uh, because I, I think we, we can win that, uh, all of them. But that, uh, I want to play against League with or Evil Genius on LAN. Well, I mean, I'm super looking forward to seeing you guys uh, performing up on stage. And you guys at home can join uh, Sharks in the eSports Stadium in Arlington. All you've got to do is head over to ecs.faceit.com and get your tickets there to see the wonderful Lucan and Co playing on stage. And I am thoroughly looking forward to it. But I think all there is left to say is thank you so much for joining me today, Lucan, and I'll see you in Texas. Okay, thank you.